this is Sam from Uniondale, and you're tuning in to another edition of the Sam I Analyze Show. The NBA draft came and went, and everybody's talking about LeBron James' son, Bronny James, going to the Lakers. And there's a word I heard about this uh, move. I'm hearing this word a lot. Nepotism. Let's analyze. For the last year or so, maybe year and a half, two years, LeBron James' uh, career uh, coming to a close has been in, in the conversation. He just finished year 21. And we always heard, well, I, I did. I don't know about you, but I've heard for, for, um, uh, for a few years now that LeBron James wants to play as long as possible in order to see one of his sons, if not both, both of them in the NBA and maybe play with them. His oldest son, uh, Bronny James, and uh, Bryce Maximus, his second son. Now, uh, going into the draft, this, uh, you know, this uh, it started, it was a two-day event Wednesday. You know, you heard, there were rumors going into the draft when you found out that Bronny would uh, become available that, oh, if a team were to draft Bronny, then LeBron, who's uh, by design a free agent, would possibly consider playing for that team as well. Well, LeBron is a free agent as of, and uh, free agency kicks off June Sunday, June 30th at 6 p.m. Tampering season. Uh, but um, Bronny James yesterday, uh, who, who is, a, a, who is a, a NBA young prospect, is the son of who some in this, in this generation, they call him the GOAT. You know, if you've watched Michael Jordan play and know the history, LeBron James is not the GOAT. But uh, he is a GOAT father, though. I give him that. But LeBron James' son, who was drafted yesterday, I'm hearing all around, how? Oh, that, to the Lakers? Hmm. Nepotism played a role. So I'm like, all right. First and foremost, when doing this show, I said, let, 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 let's, let's, let's analyze, first of all, the definition of nepotism, shall we? And per the Googles, nepotism is the practice among those with power or influence of favoring relatives, friends, and associates uh, when giving jobs. So here's the deal, folks. Here's the deal, right? And first and foremost, I didn't do this, but before we do the dissecting, I want to congratulate Bronny James uh, for the accomplishment of being drafted number 55. Uh, and I want to give much respect and kudos to King James, LeBron James, for, look, no no one's perfect, but the guy went above and beyond for his son, right? And he's there at the forefront for his family. Uh, we see what happened. First of all, um, nepotism. I, I gave you the definition, right? And here's the deal, right? The Lakers had two picks in this year's draft, right? They had number 17 in the first round. And my thing is, my thing is this, right? They had number 17. And who did they pick in the first round? Bronny James? Eh, wrong. They did not pick Bronny James. They went with Tennessee's Dalton Connect. And, and then in, their, in the final pick that they had at 55 of a, of 58 total players, they went with Bronny James. Uh, and the reason, by the way, there weren't 60 players taken was because of uh, the, uh, 
I believe Phoenix, and it was um, there were two teams uh, who did not have picks uh, as a result of uh, their second picks taken. I want to say F uh, Philly and Phoenix, but um, here's the deal. I think that, um, you know, when you look at it from that perspective, they didn't use their first round pick on Bronny James. And I and look, listen, I've been watching Bronny for the last few years, and I'm like, high basketball IQ, can shoot the ball, athletic. I'm not sure, though, if he's NBA ready yet. And clearly, clearly, being taken number 55 out of 58, the NBA didn't think so either. Now, uh, you know, LeBron James, anybody who knows the story, knows that he has two, uh, well, two that we know of uh, who, are, who are at the forefront with him, Maverick Carter and Rich Paul are his brothers. I mean, his, his very close friends, but they're brothers, right? And so when I looked at it, I'm like, all right, Rich Paul, Uncle Rich to Bronny, you know, supposedly they, there might have been some, hey, don't draft Bronny. You know, we want him to get to the Lakers. You're hearing as of last night, I heard as of last night, that Bronny James will not sign a two-way deal. Because now with the, the, the uh, second round picks, they can sign uh, four-year minimums uh, deals or what have you. So, look, listen, Rich Paul, Uncle Rich, you know, LeBron James, one of his right-hand uh, guys, is going to do uh, good, uh, uh, well by his son. But, look, listen, this was not as if the Lakers said, we are going to give Bronny, we're going to get Bronny James at number 17. No, 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 no. And it, it is because, you know, the Lakers, the Lakers, um, you know, I, I did what they had to do. Rob Palenka has a job to do. You saw Jeannie Buss years ago. LeBron James doesn't run this organization, but he is a Laker. He brought them a championship. And they did what they had to do. I mean, here's the deal. I think that when it comes to Bronny James, you know, let's not act like the guys, the, the kid is not a basketball prospect. He is, right? He needs some work, and it's going to take some time. And hence where he was drafted, right? But he played for, first and foremost, before I even go into his college, um, congratulations again to Bronny James. <laughs> Because it was, what was it, last summer that the young man suffered cardiac arrest and his NBA or his basketball career and his life was in jeopardy, right? And he's he's made a, a full recovery. He played for USC, averaged 4.8 points a game. And I, I you know, I, I was following that. And I'm like, ah, that doesn't look like... It's not eye-popping, and I don't know who's going to draft him right away. Uh, but when he got to the combine, he averaged, uh, uh, he, he had a vertical of 40.5. Now, he didn't inherit his dad's height, uh, but he did inherit his athleticism. He's got height. And uh, early on in his young career, he's a better shooter than Pops, than his dad, for sure. LeBron James at first, I mean, he became a better shooter, no question, later on in his career. Uh, Bronny at the Combine shot 19 of 25 from three, um, and he can play defense. I think I, I, when I look at Bronny, I think Bronny could be a, a Deuce McBride-esque, possibly. No disrespect to Deuce. I mean, I think Deuce is a a great talent for the Knicks uh, coming off the bench, but he, he keeps them. He continues to improve, but I, I see an NBA props prospect. I have no problem with where he was drafted. He was drafted where, you know, where people said he doesn't have, um, he needs work. Now, if Rich Paul told teams, Hey, don't draft him. Maybe they wanted him earlier, but he didn't go into first round, which is fine. Now, nepotism. You know, oh, did LeBron James stick his neck out? I mean, look, I know went with the McDonald All-American. Uh, he was a five-star recruit, Bronny James. But uh, the McDonald All-American, I remember when that was years ago that they were like, he only made it because he's LeBron James' son. Look, 
Sometimes that that I mean sometimes that's how it works sometimes, right? You you hear it all the time fathers out there their kids were, you know, the father was this uh you know and then the son followed and uh you know because of who the father was his his child got an opportunity. I mean, I would not expect anything different. But let's not act like Ronnie James did not deserve an opportunity to be drafted in that second round. He was drafted towards the end. And there's work to do. There's work to do. But I think if he continues to grind, continues to work, his father, who's one of the, the hardest workers and, and a guy who who takes care of him himself, and, I mean, he's going into year 22, uh, you know, knows knows what it takes to make it in this league. And the Lakers took care of their own in a sense of LeBron James is part of Laker Nation and they drafted his son. Simple as that. I see nothing wrong with that. Um, and uh, congratulations again to, to, to the James family. Uh, LeBron James legacy. Legacy meaning when LeBron James was drafted, Bronny was just uh, was born a year prior to that. So... Things come uh, uh, come around full circle. But the fact that, you know, people want to act like he didn't deserve to be... Dra he was not taken in the first round. So you guys have to pump the brakes. And, um, and you know, and we're, we're going to see what happens, you know, for his career. How far he can go. I mean, right now, do I see an NBA star, NBA superstar? I don't. But he's got the, he's got the measurables and... I mean, who knows? Maybe he grows a little bit more, but he can still be a, a productive NBA player. Um, and we will see what happens. I'm not calling his career already, you know, like I know what it's going to be. But uh, you never know. If he works hard at it, we don't know what he can become. But congratulations and kudos to Bronny James. The haters got to stop with the, you know, the, the nepotism. I, I just think that... Uh, you know, they the Lakers did what they they did. They looked out for LeBron, and and look, listen, it's a second round pick towards the end of the draft. So it's not like they gave up. You know, they, it's like, oh, he didn't deserve. It. Yeah, he he got an opportunity like everyone else in the second round, and they they've got to work at it. So we we're going to see what happens with uh, Bronny's career, uh, but um, congratulations again. Uh, to LeBron James, Bronny James, and family. Now it's that time. The United States men's national team lost a costly game last night in the Copa America, 2-1 to one, uh, to, who was it? Panama. A costly, a costly, costly, costly red flag by Tim Reef uh, cost the Americans uh, in a 2-1 loss. Uh, and uh, I hope I'm pronouncing his name right. We actually uh, apologized to the team afterwards. I'd like to thank everybody for tuning in. Folks, I'm on all social media platforms now. Instagram at Sam I analyze Facebook at Sam I analyze. I am also now on the platform now known as formerly known as Twitter at Sam I analyze. I'm also on TikTok, Sam I analyze sports. Please like, share, subscribe, and you see that notification bell to the right. Please click on that. That will let you know the next time I drop another video. Thanks for tuning in. And as always, a tout à l'heure.